to my attention that our server did get griefed on Discord. Uh, I will not name who it was, out of respect. But um, basically, if you want to join back, I'll put the link in the description. I'm sorry about that. It'll never happen again. I, uh, I'm making sure of that. And even if you didn't join before, you should definitely join up. We do uh, giveaways there. We do games and stuff. It's just a nice place to be in general. And yeah, you guys should join up. Welcome back to another video, guys. Today we're going to be talking or ranking all seven St. Patrick's Day skins in preparation for St. Patrick's Day coming up in just a few days. I believe there's only five days left. And they still not put a single skin in the item shop. Like, you're sleeping on us, Epic. What are y'all doing? Just come on, pull it in the shop. I'm calling it though tonight. We're going to get our first St. Patrick's, Patrick's Day skin. And I will be doing a review on it when it comes out. So just stay tuned. Anyways, though, we got our daily skin combo, and then let's get into the actual video. Combo today, I decided to go off of the, you know, the heavy metal mode, you know what I'm saying? Decided to use Bandolier. Back playing with backup plan for, like, a cool little explosion, like, tough guy themed, I don't know. And we got the, like, this fire axe pickaxe. And overall, I think it looks really good, I don't know about you guys. Use the bogeyman rep. I didn't choose a glider or a contrail, but there's definitely some cool ones. Like you can use the uh, the bomber airplane, for example, and then for your glider, you could use the bullets. Matches his uh, bandolier pretty cool. And yeah, that'll be your daily combo today. Okay. So moving on to the video, uh, we have. Seven skins in total, however, there is Haze, which, you know, got a St. Patrick's Day edit style. So I'm not going to rank it on there, but I'm just going to put a special mention. Uh, so if she only had the two styles to where it was St. Patrick's Day, she'd probably be around 5th or 6th, because all the St. Patrick's Day skins are really good, except for one. And that one is just straight garbage. I'll, I'll tell you guys what that one skin is. Anyways, though, let's get into the actual rankings now. So coming in at number 7... At last spot, I told you guys this was the only bad skin, and I'm sticking by it. It's Clover Team Leader. That skin is just absolutely disgusting. It, it's ugly, it's bad, it's the worst Cuddle Team Leader reskin. Legit, they have that one uh, duck skin for Easter. It's got the three edit, or it's got four edit styles, it's got a green edit style. It's basically just that skin, but much worse. And honestly, I have nothing good to say about it. I will be picking it up because, you know, I'm going to buy all the St. Patrick's Day skins. But if I wasn't collecting all the skins, man, I would I would have dropped this skin ages ago, man. This skin is disgustingly bad. Anyways, though, moving on to number six, we have Battlehound. And honestly, Battlehound just it kind of got massacred. If I'm being honest, when it first came out, I didn't I didn't have any skins right, and I was just looking through the shop. I did get a 2800 V Buck card because uh, my friends couldn't use this card because he was on. Just the type of PlayStation he had, it wasn't able to be used. So he gave it to me, right? So I, I bought the Battle Pass. And I was looking through the shop. Now, I wanted Wukong. But, you know, I decided, nah, I'm not going to buy Wukong. So I saw, I waited the next day, though. And then I saw Battlehound in the shop. I said, no, nah, I'm picking that thing up instantly, bro. That skin was bussin' bussin', you know what I'm saying? So I picked it up. And that was my, I guess it wasn't my first skin, technically. It was my first item shop skin. And when it first came out, it was really good, but then they kind of massacred it over time, as I said before, because, one, it just, it kind of became not worth legendary, you know what I'm saying? In the very beginning, I, I see it being a legendary, it had a bunch of details on it, and it was just very cool. But over time, the standards of legendary skins have just become so much higher, that Battlehound just kind of got left in the dust. And on top of that, they absolutely destroyed the back bling. I don't know if you guys see this, saw this, but if you go to the Battlehound skin, it used to not have a back bling, and the cape was actually attached to the skin. But then they made its own separate back bling due to people complaining, and it just looked terrible after that. It just it looks so much worse. Well, I'll show you guys a picture on screen now of the before and after. But that's the reason I just don't like Battlehound skin anymore, and that's what comes in at number six. Now at number five, we have the female Battlehound, which is Highland Warrior. Now, don't get me wrong, Highland Warrior is a really, really cool skin, if I'm being honest. It's uh, only an epic, and it has a shield backling that looks really good. And I really don't have any negatives to say about it. It got a really nice edit style for, like, this dog, uh, like a dog helmet, almost. Where it's, like, green eyes and a golden helmet. But one thing I will say, like, return the skin epic, it's never in the shop, and I can never buy it, because it, it, it just refuses to return. But... 
you know, if if something not returning is the biggest problem I have with it, you know, say no, it's just a good skin. And that's why it comes in at number five. I just really want it to come back, or else I won't be able to complete my collection. Number four, we have Chance. Now, Chance, he, he's an interesting skin. He he uh switched out for. Oh wait, no, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Chance is a girl. Chance, I don't know what to say about it because, on one hand, it's a really nice, just simple, basic, e not Easter, uh, spring skin. But at the same time, it's like, I believe it was only the second reskin of Ruby at the time. But then over time, we got like the Halloween Ruby, the not summer Ruby. We didn't have the summer Ruby, but we had a Christmas Ruby, a Halloween one, the Shattered Ruby, the Bright Bomber Ruby. So that's just like so many rubies, you know what I'm saying? There's like six of them right there. And just the fact that it's not really too unique anymore. Don't, don't, all right. I really don't care about reskins. Reskins I actually really like. I find them really cool for some reason when a skin just gets another like reskin. I don't know why I like it so much, but I just, you know, I find a lot of interest in that. So I'll give it that. It's cool, but it is a reskin. So mixed opinions. Coming in at number three, we have Taylor. And Taylor, I hate. I actually don't hate Taylor, but uh, Taylor, <coughs> the voice crack, Taylor just absolutely ruined me. You want to know why? All right. The item shop before Taylor came in, it rotated at 7 p.m. EST. And it brought in the snowflake wrap, right? You know, the only Christmas wrap I'm still missing because it won't return. It brought in the Christmas wrap. I was going to buy that Christmas wrap. But then I decided, no, I'll just wait a little bit to see if I still want it. And then Taylor comes in in the morning. And then replaces the Christmas wrap so I couldn't buy it. And the Christmas wrap hasn't returned since. And Taylor is 100% is the cause as to why I can't get that Christmas wrap anymore. And I'm still mad about it. So if you're hearing this epic, please bring back the Christmas wrap. Well, this isn't a Christmas video. Uh, Taylor, I really like his design. He's pretty much the most reactive skin in the game. Only less reactive than those glowy skins. But Taylor is really cool. I like his pattern. I like the color scheme. He's, he's an epic skin, but he's not very... I mean, he's kind of basic, but I don't know. It's cool, and I gave him number three. Number two, I'm pretty sure this is the only one that the sweats like. It's the Lucky Rider, and the reason they like it so much is because they want that Clover back bling. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure. I'm sure they just want the Clover back bling. And don't get me wrong, the Clover back bling is really, really nice. I use it on the St. Patrick's Day skins all the time. But that's pretty much the only time I'm not going to use it on a, a non-St. Patrick's Day skin. Maybe like a spring skin, or a, I can't speak. Maybe uh, Easter skin, because, you know, the colors match pretty nice, but that's about it. And Lucky Rider, I just, you know, he's a reskin, and reskins are cool, so I'm giving him that. And then at number one, we have Sergeant Green Clover, which is one out of the two I own. I own Saint, uh, Sergeant Green Clover and Lucky Rider, but this skin is just really nice. It's a green, and it's the best green skin in my opinion. It's got a lot of, uh, a lot of details on it, you know, very... I was about to say chaotic, but it's not chaotic. But it's very nice. It's got a lot of details, and it just looks really cool. So I got to give them that. And mm -hmm. that's my ranking. I appreciate you guys watching my video. I'll see y'all in another one, hopefully tonight, when we get our first St. Patrick's Day skin. And peace.